Poland's largest company has posted its best ever results. The winning streak is continued as PK and Orlen is outperforming the previous quarter in terms of the most important items in the financial report, which each successive quarter of this year. This includes the effect of the successive acquisition of the Lotos and PG&IG, as well as the high margins achieved in the processing of crude oil. The fourth quarter of 2022, PK and Orlen generated revenues of 102.26 billion of Polish złotych. Yeah, that's 40% more quarter on quarter. EBITDA of uh, 14.21 billion Polish złotych and net profit of 8.09 billion of Polish złotych. That's 18.6% uh, quarter on quarter. <coughs> Experts believe um, revenues of 100 billion and a net profit of 8.4 billion. It is worth noting that the EBITDA LIFO result, which better reflects the state of the business, it amounted to 16.06 billion, an increase of 37.5 quarter on quarter. Analysts had expected adjusted LIFO EBITDA of 15.9 billion. This was the highest quarterly result in the company's history. It was only 21 billion less than 2021 which was the best year in the history of the Orland Group. The figures are adjusted for one of gain from the budget purchase of PG&AG, worth 8.19 billion of Polish Lotus, and Lotus, worth 5.82 billion. After four quarters, revenues increased by 112% year-on-year to 278.5 billion of Polish Lotus. Operating profit a bit amounted to 43.5 billion Polish Lotus, and net profit excluding the gain from the bargain purchase of PG&AG, amounted to 21.5 billion. It is up 93.6% year on year. In the last quarter of the year, Orlen continued to benefit from the excellent situation in the refining industry and the high margins. The margin was particularly high in October, when it reached $31.5 per barrel. Only in June was the monthly margin higher. The fourth quarter was also the second best of the year, in this respect. Refining was again the most profitable business in the fourth quarter. Following the acquisition, pg and made an effective contribution to gas production. The decline in prices and margins had a negative impact on the petrochemicals and energy business. The latter said segment was no secret as the fourth quarter results were previously reported by Energa, including a loss over 630 million of Polish zlotys. Looking at the results of the individual segments of oil and businesses, as in previous quarters, the refining segment was the best performer. The result was influenced by the macroeconomic environment and the consolidation of the results of the acquired Grupa Lotos in the amount of 3.6 billion Polish zlotys. These effects were limited by the negative impact of the valuation of um, CO2 futures contracts the use of historical inventory levels and higher fixed and labor costs. Orlen expects the fuel market to return to equilibrium in the coming quarters, helped by the global economic slowdown and the gradual increase in fuel supply from the new refineries coming on stream in the US, Africa, the Middle East and Asia. In 2023, we expect refining margins to decline to around $11 per barrel year on year. The mining operations segment generated 6.3 billion uh, Polish zlotys in EBITDA LIFO and was the second most profitable division. This is mainly due to the positive effect of consolidating the results of the PG&AG and Grupa Lotos, which together amounted to approximately 6.1 billion Polish zlotys. Total oil and gas reserves at the end of the year amounted to 1.3 billion. The energy segments, a bit the LIFO, amounted to 364 million Polish zlotys. Positive macroeconomic effects were limited by the negative impact of lower sales volumes. The consolidation of the results of the acquired PG&IG group, higher fixed and labor costs, and the creation of the provision of 900 million Polish zlotys for the fulfillment of contracts with electricity consumers under the G tariff in the Energa group. In 2023, Orlen expect electricity prices to fall year on year to around 450 uh, Polish zlotys per megawatt hour. Petrochemia contributed only 583 
uh, million of Polish zlotys of Lifa EBITDA due to negative macroeconomic effects, lower sales volumes, valuation of CO2 futures, use of historical inventory layers, and higher fixed and labor costs. In 2023, Orlin expects petrochemical margins to decline to around 1,100 euro per ton as a result of lower demand for petrochemicals due to the economic slowdown and persistent inflation. The new gas segment posted a loss of 2.19 billion Polish zlotys, a bit talifa. This was the result of the lower demand for gas and reduction in sales and distribution volumes, the company said. It was offset by compensation received for frozen gas prices for households. As a result, PG Energy will receive 8 billion uh, Polish zlotys from the price difference payment fund in 2022. PK and Orlen expects gas prices to fall to around 200 Polish zlotys per megawatt hour compared to last year. According to the results presentation, gas prices in the coming quarters will depend on weather conditions and geopolitical risks. The retail segment accounted for 665 million Polish zlotys of EBITDA LIFO. Here, the company noted that experienced uh, a decrease in sales volumes. Thank you.